So we have a coefficient of friction when it's static, and we have a coefficient of friction when it's moving, which we call kinetic. Kinetic means motion. I've gotten up to almost 1.5, and then it suddenly moved, and then while it's moving, it's 1. So two things happening there. When I first start trying to move the block along the wood, this friction force is 1.5 newtons. But once it's going, once it starts sliding, the friction force is only 1. The coefficient of friction is 0.2. When it's 1.5, it'll be 1.5 divided by 5, which is um, 0.3, isn't it? So we have a coefficient of friction of 0.3 when it's stopped and we're trying to get it moving but once it breaks free and starts to move the coefficient of friction now drops to 0.2. This turns out to be quite common in engineering. We're pulling the mass and then it won't move and then suddenly breaks free. The stick slip phenomenon. So it sticks there for a minute until the force builds up and then it suddenly slips and this is usually annoying. You usually don't want this. If you're trying to get a nice smooth motion and you get this, you'll have, end up with vibration. And this is usually annoying. And this is usually annoying, 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 annoying. And the front disc brakes are squeaking. If the discs are too shiny, they can squeak and you can get them turned or replaced. Well, that's actually stick slip. The brake grips the surface and then it slips and that makes a vibration. And that vibration is so fast that you're hearing a squealing sound. And this is usually annoying. Another example of stick slip would be an, an air cylinder, maybe a low pressure air cylinder, and the, the rubber seal, which is like an O-ring inside, is um, static friction against the cylinder. Then the air pressure increases, the static friction suddenly breaks away and it moves and now the air pressure is lowered a little bit and it stops again, just like this. Stick slip could be one of the things that you're trying to avoid and we can avoid it with lubrication and uh, low friction design. If you're trying to get a very, very smooth motion, stick slip, which is where static friction is higher than kinetic friction, is the problem. All right, now another example for stick slip. Who's ever heard of this? ABS. The ABS control unit also continuously monitors all wheels by means of wheel speed sensors. Should the system recognize that a wheel is locked, ABS immediately intervenes and systematically regulates braking pressure. ABS can regulate each individual wheel within milliseconds. Full braking at 100 kilometers per hour. If the wheel is skidding on the surface, that means the coefficient of friction between the road and the tire is kinetic friction. Okay, which one's higher, static or kinetic? Static. Now, it turns out that when they design these things, the brake pad is not a problem. The most important thing for stopping the car is making sure you've got a lot of grip between the tire and the road. That's the number one. We can always push harder on the brake. That's not a problem. All right, you can always increase the force and get more force out of that. But there's a limit to how much force you can get between the tire and the road. So the important one is this one. So we actually want static friction here, please, to get our maximum grip between the rubber and the road. In other words, we don't want the wheel to skid. We want the wheel to be rolling. And we can then adjust the amount of friction at the brake pad to keep the wheel rolling right at the limit of static friction. With ABS, the braking distance is significantly shorter and the vehicle remains stable. Because static friction is higher than kinetic. Coefficient of friction kinetic, coefficient of friction static. Another example would be acceleration. You're better off accelerating without skidding, such as a drag car taking off. They heat up the tyres by just absolutely flooring it and the tyre has no chance of gripping. 
and they hardly take off at all. And then uh, when they're actually trying to do a time, they don't want the wheel to skid. They want to try and make sure the, the wheel's always gripping as they're taking off, especially at the very beginning. So you're trying to stay on the maximum static friction.